Hi there. So this is a follow-up uh, screencast mm -hmm. to uh, my workflow, um, uh, my DevTools workflow. So I posted a uh, screencast about six months ago, um, having never leaving DevTools and how I was able to stay inside of DevTools to do um, uh, CSS and JavaScript editing. Um, the video was well received and people, I guess, actually got quite a bit out of it. Um, and over the last six months, DevTools has progressed and I'm able to do much more or much more of my coding directly inside of DevTools and not have to leave. So I just wanted to share that with you now. Um, so the, the Full Frontal Conference um, website, um, when I was working on it, um, I was actually doing quite a bit directly in DevTools and really not switching to Sublime. So if I just um, kick off my node process, so I'm running NodeMon, which is uh, my tool for monitoring if any files change and it will restart the node process if it notices that uh, uh, any other files change, basically like the main application or any JSON that's loaded that drives all the sessions or um, the template views. So if you go to localhost 3000, this is my local version of the website. And uh, in Joe's session, I noticed I've forgotten his uh, Twitter handle and also we've sold out, so I need to change those. So what I do is I open up DevTools um, and I need to turn on a few features. So this is Chrome stable rather than a Chrome canary. Um, so you can get to the, uh, uh, the settings by just pressing question mark, which is quite useful. And under experiments, you need to enable uh, file system folders in source panels, then close DevTools and reopen them. Um, so now when I go to uh, the settings, I get the workspaces. From here, I'm going to link, um, I'm basically going to create a workspace for the, the Full Frontal website. So let's go ahead and add uh, Full Frontal 2013. And it asks me up here if I want to allow. Yep. Cool. Now, I think I need to close DevTools and open it again. If you're ever unsure, just keep opening and closing DevTools and it will, <laughs> it will load the settings. So what we see here is localhost 3000. These are all the assets that are linked to uh, the website. And in my original screencast, I showed that the, the programs, the HTML wasn't editable. So I can't do anything about this HTML. So um, if I was moving some content or wanted to remove that button entirely, I couldn't do it from the program. You can change the elements panel, sure, but it doesn't actually save to disk, which is what I'm interested in. But now that we've had the workspaces, I now have the full full frontal directory to my disposal. So here I've got uh, all the views, so all my templates, which includes the actual index page. Um, I've got my data, which drives uh, some of the content on full frontal. So if I just do uh, command O sessions, Jason, I'm going to fix Joe's uh, Twitter handle missing. So I'm just going to skim down here, copy and paste this guy. Um, Twitter, there you go. So Joe now has his Twitter handle. Let's make that first as well. Right, so I haven't saved just yet because I want to show you what's going to happen um, to my NodeMon process because NodeMon is watching in the background. Um, when I save, Command S, you see NodeMon restarts and it means I just press, well, press refresh and I go down to Joe's. I see his Twitter handles there now, and I've saved the JSON file, which was resident in memory in the node process, the node process restarts, and I've got the link working. I'm gonna make another change. Oops, not new tab. Uh, config, JSON. Let's uh, let's say the conference, the conference is actually sold out, so conference sold out. Um, and we restart, refresh, and there we go, sold out. No more tickets available, I'm afraid. So that's how I'm doing all my dev directly in uh, DevTools. So um, just to kind of show you again, I can open any file. So I've got app.js, uh, which is this one. And I can go ahead and make changes to the actual application. Um, so this is the node process. I can change the routers, for instance, for the, the APIs. Um, and I'm doing it all directly in here. I just want to quickly show you Chrome uh, Canary before I stop. Um, the nice, obviously Canary is kind of the bleeding edge, there's a few more things. Um, so in this instance, um, I've got, uh, so I think the curlies are automatically completed for you, but 
if I do at Joe, it's giving me autocomplete, which is really nice. Sweet. Right, so that's how I'm doing um, all my development, or nearly all my development inside of DevTools. Obviously, I'm not creating new directories in there yet. Yet, um, I'm obviously able to search all the content here. I can skip to specific functions. Um, I can open any file, so I can work on the CSS. Uh, not that that's CSS for this project, but um, the one thing I'm not quite sure about is whether or not, I, if I have multiple sources, do I get them all listed here? Um, you can do things like link uh, assets. So I've got uh, an asset resource elsewhere. I can link it directly to my workspace. So hopefully that's useful for you. Just watching. <laughs>